Um, last day we we taught you a method of, of solving one-dimensional kinematics problems without your brain, just following a recipe. And I made that claim not in jest. Uh, a computer program can solve these, and a computer doesn't have a brain. It just follows a recipe. And so let's follow that recipe and solve a couple of problems. Make sure everyone knows how to do it. You're going to have at least two of these on the midterm. A soccer, a soccer player running at a speed of 2.6 meters per second decides to accelerate. For the next 18 meters, he speeds up with an acceleration of 0.45 meters per second every second. What is the speed at the end of the run? Uh, with your neighbor, see if you can uh, crack that problem. The, the equations are at page 21 of your textbook. I'll put them on the board here. Okay, let's uh, work this one together to remind you. The first thing we do is turn off our brain, and then we just find three of these five variables from the problem statement. Well, originally, that soccer player is traveling at 2.6 meters per second. Uh, he then speeds up with an acceleration of 0.45 meters per second per second, and if I call this a positive velocity, in order to speed up I have to have a positive acceleration. They have to be in the same direction. Um, we, we are told that he has that acceleration for a distance of 18 meters. Now, the next step of our recipe. We have two blanks, one of them worth a million dollars in a houseboat, one of them worth nothing. In this case, we're asked for the final velocity. That makes the time interval the who cares. Well, that who cares is actually the piece that tells me which of the four equations is going to solve my problem. If I don't know delta t and I don't want to know delta t, I'm looking for an equation that doesn't have delta t in it. Well, there's a delta t, there's a delta t, there's a delta t. It's this last equation that I want to use. Now remember, I told you last day, these equations will be on the front page of your midterm. This table will not. Okay? But we didn't use the table, we just looked for delta t's. And we found that we needed to use this equation, the final squared is equal to the initial squared plus 2a delta x. V uh, final squared is going to be 2.6 squared plus 2 times 0.45 times 18. That gives me V final squared is equal to 23. And uh, is that right? Yes, 23. And that gives me a V final that's equal to 4.8 meters per second. Okay, notice how my brain was turned off during that whole process. Okay, let's try another one. This time I'll give you enough time to solve it yourself. The length of the barrel of a primitive blow gun is 1.6 meters. Upon leaving the barrel, a dart has a speed of 24 meters per second. Assuming the dart is uniformly accelerated, meaning we can use these kinematic equations, how long, how many seconds on your Mickey, does it take for the dart to travel through the length of the barrel? So, with your neighbor, go through that recipe. Yes, sir? We're assuming that the initial is zero. Oh, are we? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Because there's only two numbers in that problem. Sometimes you have to read between the lines to get your third piece of information. It has to start from rest.
How many of you are sitting next to a neighbor who has an answer? Raise your hand. Good. Okay, let's go over it. We know that the dart travels a distance of 1.6 meters and it starts from rest and it has a final velocity of 24 meters per second. That leaves two empty spaces, one of which worth, is worth an A in the class and a chance to go to medical school, the other one we don't care about. <clears throat> in this problem we're asked for the time, that makes the acceleration the who cares. That who cares tells me which equation is going to give me my answer. I go to my list and I look for the equation that does not have acceleration in it. Well, there's acceleration, there's acceleration, there's acceleration. I have to use this second equation here, which is the operational definition of average velocity. So I write down the equation. I plug in what I know. This is 1.6 is equal to 1 half 0 plus 24 times delta t. Well, 0 plus 24 is 24, half of that is 12. So that gives me a delta t of 1.6 over 12 or 0.133 seconds. See if your neighbor got that answer. If not, you know what to do.